Paul there and welcome to another episode on the Mind Rocking SMP. So as you can see, we are in front of the Tardy Taylor. Um, we finished building this last episode. Um, now I say we finished building this. Um, as you may notice, being a, uh, a trim shop, it's a little on the small side. So we've only got really sort of four chests down here. Um, and yes, I know we are doing this as an order system so people can order their trims and I'll post them in their little boxes for them and stuff like that. But it's a bit of a boring little shop, to be fair. So uh, what we're going to do today is we are going to extend this shop. Um, now, the reason that we chose where we chose wasn't by accident. Um, let's go up here. So this shop over here was picked for a very specific reason. Um, and as you notice, as you come into the shop, it takes a hard right. And that was directly into, if you look out the window, directly into the cliffside. Now if we stand here, where we used to have a door, there is no longer a door. And if you look closely, there is in fact a button right there. Now... Those of you on the server, I would highly recommend not pushing this button. Um, and you shall see why momentarily. So if we push the button, we come down to here. Um, we dug a bit of a hole. And it's quite a large one. So, um, yes, you may have noticed we do have, unfortunately, limes inside our shopping district, although any underground site of, site of any size is going to find a slime chunk somewhere. Um, so I do have a bit of a, a slime farm going on. We are going to fix that when we build in it. But yeah, we've dug ourselves out. It's about 20 blocks deep um, and it's about 50 blocks square. So it's a reasonably large hole and this is going to be my shop. Um... Now, we are going to have people falling through. Now, they are going to go down a little bit deeper. Um, and this is the first stage. And this is what we're going to get done today. Is we are going to do the um, the display side of the shop today. Um, so, this is where all of the armor stands are going to go with all of the armor trims. Um, and then there will be the stock side of the shop, which we will get done at a extended period of time. Because... Um, as you can see, with a big hole, there's going to be a big shop. Um, and it's not, you know, it's a massive shop for what is basically 16 items. Um, but we've got a quite, quite a cool plan. Um, so, yeah, what we're going to do is we are going to... Um, I'll show you how this works in a second, because I'll show you how all the redstone works, because there's going to be a bit more redstone going on in a moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to dig out the rest of what I need to get dug out. I'm going to decorate what I need to get decorated. And I shall see you in a second where we show you the rest of what we're going to be doing today. Boy. All right, then. So here we have my tunnel dug out. So that's the entrance that we're going to drop through in. And we have this water pool so that people won't die when they fall into it. Um, now, I want this to be quite a dark experience. So what we've got is in our water pool, we've got some, um, oh, what are these things called? Um, I want to say sea cucumbers, but that's obviously uh, complete nonsense. Um, what are these things? These are sea pickles. That's what we've got. There we go. So yeah, in the corners here, we've got a couple of sea pickles in each corner. It gives us enough light so that stuff doesn't spawn. Um, now this will be lit uh, from above. Um, so if I jump up here, you can see that what we've got is we've got sea lanterns at the top here. Now, obviously, some of this is half slab, uh, which even though RTX blocks the light from half slabs, the game doesn't when it comes to checking for um, light levels for mob spawning and stuff like this. So even if I was to remove all of these... As you can see in the RTX pack, when we turn around, that's really dark. You can't see anything. Um, but in the game, it's not. So what actually happens is 
you can in RTX you can actually build much more atmospheric builds than you can normally in the game. Now what we're going to do um, is each one of these is going to have an armor stand in it. Uh, that armor stand is going to have a um, set of armor that is been um, decorated with the uh, trim. Uh, so each armor stand is going to have a full set of armor with the trim on it, and then behind it. I'm going to, in this little alcove section here, we're going to back it up using blocks that have come from the area that the trim was found in. So, for example, if we take the, um, let's say, the ones that come from the jungle temple, then I'll have mossy cobblestone behind here. Uh, if we take the one that comes from the desert temple, it'll have some sandstone behind it. We get the one that we get from the Guardian Temple, then we'll have Prismarine behind it, and so on and so forth, going all the way down. Um, but obviously, I can't have it pitch black down here when I do that. So what we're going to do is we have an automated lighting system, so that when someone falls down, lights then start turning on. And so that's my next job. So if we come out of here. And we go over here, we have my redstone box. Now my redstone box is over there. It's a little bit lacking in what I need at the moment. So what I'm gonna do is, Jaden has a redstone shop and I'm pretty certain it's got some stock in it. So we're gonna go raid Jaden's redstone shop, uh, re replenish my supplies of redstone and we'll be back in a moment. Right, so the shop. Um, I know he's working on a new one inside, but it's not quite finished yet. So we are going to come up here to the shop. Let me move my... There we go. So what do I need? What do I need? What do I need? I don't really need any of these. Don't really need any of these. We are going to want... Torches are a diamond a stack. Blocks of redstone are one diamond as... Dust is free with purchase. Okay, so we can get some blocks and some dust. Uh, it's repeaters that I need. Uh, there we go. One diamond as stacked. Okay. So I'm going to need a load of repeaters. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stack of repeaters. I'm going to need a bit more than that, to be fair. Let's have another stack of repeaters. That'll do us. Two stacks of repeaters. We'll have a stack of torches and a stack of dust. Actually, we'll have a stack of dust. Um, is there anything else I need? I do need a couple of comparators, but I think I'm good for comparators. Yep. Um, target blocks I don't really need. I'm going to need a couple of hoppers for what we're doing as well. But no, I think we should be good. So. That lot can all go in there. We'll restack all of my diamonds. We'll take that. That gives us... There we go. All of my redstone. No, I can never make this down. I will one day make it down that tunnel without crashing. And we'll get all the way down here. So, back in again. Please don't hit the magic button. There we go. So, how are we going to do this? Basically, I want to run it so that when someone drops in, it's dark. And after a very small delay, the lights come on one at a time. And what we're going to do is I'm going to pull this block backwards and then drop the light down one. It's because of the way the RTX pack works. You don't really need to do this on uh, if you're not playing with RTX um, because it doesn't change the amount of light that comes out that much. But on RTX, it actually does. 
So that's what we're going to do. Um, now, I am going to need to build ourselves up a couple of pieces of kit for this because I want it to stay on for a while. So I'm going to build off of the, the button up there. I'm going to build a timing circuit. We're then going to build um, an abogate, which is going to go here. And then I'm going to um, place all of that lot down here. So what I'll do is I'll get the timing circuit in, I'll get the abrogate in, and I'll get everything else built. And we'll go from there. And then I'll come back and I'll explain exactly how everything works. And you can have a look and see what's going on. See you in a bit. All right, then we have the redstone part for the lighting circuit set up and good to go. So here we have my ABBA switch. Um, this is a great little piece of kit, to be fair. Uh, what it does is it reverses the order on turning it on and turning off. So what happens is normally you would turn something on and then it would go in order. And then when you turn it off, it goes turns off in the same order it turned on in. This actually reverses it when you turn it off. So if I just break these blocks here, you can see that these are tied into what is basically a block swapper. What I want is, first of all, when we turn this switch, I want this block to be pulled out, and then I want this block to be pushed down. Now, when we turn it back off again, I want it the other way round. I want this to be pulled up, and then this to be pulled out. Uh, pushed in, sorry. So, if we show, if we flick the switch here, you can see that gets pulled out, then that gets pushed down. And then when we do it again, that gets pulled up, and then that gets pulled in. Um, so what happens here is the repeater powers this block, which repowers this line, which turns this torch off, which then turns all of these off. This repeater then puts the block into here, which powers this line. And then this line is the one that activates these. When you turn it off, because you've got this repeater here pushing into that block, which is also powered by this block, that changes last on the way out as well. So this one changes first and then that one changes so that's why you get everything reversing. So if we put these blocks back and then all we've done is I have three runs of repeaters, one doing the central block, which does these two coming from this line here and then down each side. So now if we follow this, we can follow this all the way down. And as you can see, these activate before the ones in the middle do. And if we turn it off, we can follow it all the way down. And these are turning off before these ones turn on. That means that all the way around the block swappers are going to work. And then my lights will appear and disappear as and when I need to. Which is all nice and shiny. Um, last thing that I've got left to do is tie my timing circuit into the button that people push that are going to give them access to this room. Uh, so that's up there, the out of the button access, and that needs to tie across here. So I've got some space cut in the wall here for my timing circuit. I'm going to go and get that built now, and then we shall show you uh, how the whole system works and what it's going to look like from when you people actually come in. Okay then, so here we have my little timing circuit. Uh, this is my all-time favourite timing circuit. Um you ever need to add a delay to anything or have a a pulse extender this is what i use because it's really 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 customizable it's a riff on an etho hopper clock um it's not exactly the same obviously we haven't got the redstone blocks it doesn't repeat itself it's a one-time etho hopper clock basically um so all you do is you run your power into this block here that will then turn off this redstone uh torch which will unpower this line that unlocks the hopper. So this has currently got a stack of blocks in it. I will probably make this a lot longer um, when we're using this fully, but this works so I can test things at this precise moment in time. In fact, we're going to halve that so we can show. Um, but it also unlocks this comparator, which means the comparator then powers this block, keeping the torch off. Uh, once that hopper is emptied into this hopper, because this torch will then lock this hopper, uh, once that hopper is empty, it unpowers this block, which then turns the torch back on, which then locks this hopper again. So then all of it, everything then flows back from this hopper back to this hopper. 
all the time this comparator is then pushing power out into this line which is then powering this system here which then starts the lights going um so yeah we have a button inside the shop which will then start my pulse extender pulse extender will then trigger this turning all of the lights on once the pulse extender has finished doing its job all the lights will then turn off again um, and what we can do is we can go up through my back door and we can go into the shop and we can show you what it should look like so if we go and push our secret button the floor drops we go into darkness and then as you can see the lights all turn on in sequence gotta stop these fish they're sort of gathering here and what we might do is I might unload these so that the fish don't spawn in this and they shouldn't then jump out but uh, all of the lights then turn on and we get a nice light area while people are in here and then as you can see after a while all of the lights turn off and the roof is back to how it was when we first got here so now all I need to do is get the armor trims on armor stands and get each of these portcos uh, decorated uh, I've got everything that I need to do the decoration so uh, that's my next job we shall see you in a soon in a soon see you in a second with hopefully my armor stand and trim at armor display room done all right then so um if we come back in here again and hit the button now drop in we get a slightly better view of what's going on so the plan is that these mind the fish these backing sections are all going to be based on the location that the armor trim that's going to be on these armor stands is from. So we've got the four that are found in the trial ruins. We have the one from the desert temple. We've got the one from the jungle temple. We've got the one from the woodland mansion and from the pillager outpost. We've got the one from the guardian temple. We have the one from the shipwreck, so we've got sort of a coastal area here. We have the two that are come from the deep dark. We have the piglin one and the never fortress one. We then have the one from the um, uh, stronghold and the one from the end. So that is how this is all going to look. Now all we need to do is get all of our armor sorted. So, over here we have all of my, here's all of my existing trims. We've also got a block of iron and some coloured um, ores to make the armour's different colour. So we got, we're going to do this all in our iron armour. Um, I don't have the diamonds to make diamond armour and all the trims. Um, here we have my creation kits. So I can make all of these trims. Um, oh, and that's just my redstone box. So this is everything that I'm going to need. What we're going to do is we are going to create myself some more shulkers. Because uh, I'm going to need 16 of each armor piece. And then we'll get it all trimmed out. So I'm going to need plenty of space to get this done. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Um, we'll probably do this in a little bit of a time lapse or something. Because uh, it's going to take me a little while to get this all done. We shall uh, see you soon and hopefully you'll see some of the process of getting this all sorted.
and we're back here again so yes hopefully we shall now get the full effect of what happens so if we click the me button we drop in the floor we come into a nice dark room and then everything starts to light up all of the fish decide to kill themselves and we can now see give me one second will you get back in the pond There we go. Right. So, now, we have all of our trims from the uh, trail ruins. We've got the wild trim. We've got the June trim. We've got the sentry and the vex trim. We've got the coast and the one from the guardian temple. We have the two cool ones from the uh, deep dark. We got the two from the nether, and then we got the two related to the end. And then this, people can walk around these, so you can actually, it's not particularly well lit, but you can sort of see the backs of them. Um, and I don't think many people are playing RTX, and this is a little bit more lit if you're not in RTX, but you can see the backs of the trims, and you can get a good 360 view of them. I'm going to get some signs up somewhere, not certain entirely where. Um, probably behind their heads we'll get some glow signs up so that you can see the names of the trim and then they'll be able to process, pro progress on into the rest of the shop so yeah, that is the next part done of my actual store um, I think it's quite a cool little tunnel area it'll display every, all my wares quite nicely um, you may notice that there are no chests anywhere to purchase these things yet. That's the next stage. So uh, we shall see you next time where hopefully we'll actually have an area where people can buy some of this stuff rather than just sending me a message. So uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time out. And see you soon. Bye.